Switch to host MaxSec support in CX6200M series of switches. As you are all aware, we support MaxSec in our CX switches in incremental software releases. This is the recent update as part of 1015 release. Just an introduction about the MaxSec. On Ethernet links, MaxSec offers layer 2 hop by hop encryption, offers layer 2 security shielding the network communication from various threats such as man in the middle, eavesdropping, and denial of service attacks. The switch to host MaxSec protection is available on the downlink ports of CEX6200M series of switches as part of 1015 release. Supported with dynamic EAP MaxSec authentication that is EAP TLS and then EAP PIP on the authenticator switches. So here is the list of SKUs of 6200M series of switches along with the ports supporting the switch to host MaxSec capability. So let's see the use cases. So as businesses shift to security first networking, we do observe new inclines such as cameras and then access points that enable MaxSec. So pro protect the data from these devices, it is imperative that MaxSec be enabled on those client connected ports. Federal accounts also demand this as we wanted to protect the data in transit and data at risk from these devices. Hence, this enhanced security function that offers end to end MaxSec protection is beneficial to the customers. So, let's see a small demo of switch to host MaxSec support in CX6200M series of switches. So for this demo, I'll be using the access camera. As I said earlier, we do observe new inclines supporting MaxSec. So one such new device is access camera. It has been connected to the 213 port of CX6200M switch. Here is a snippet of the sample configuration I'll be using for this demo. The radius of a configuration for EPTLS authentication, the MaxSec policy enabled with CypherSo GCM AES128, and post the authentication, the client will be placed in the rule access camera MaxSec. Here we have associated the MaxSec policy created previously and then the VLAN for the network access. And we have globally enabled the Rot1x authentication. When it comes to interface configuration, we have enabled Rot1x authentication here as well. And it has been enabled with MaxSec and MKA with CAC length of 16. So with that configuration, we could successfully see the access camera being EPTLS authenticated successfully as well as the MaxSec rule assignment. So the MaxSec status clearly shows as up and then retire. So let's see the demo now. So before I go to the demo section, so let me provide the configuration used in the access camera. So the authentication method is EPTLS with MaxSec using dynamic CAC and the certificate used for the EPTLS authentication and CS certificates of the network access control server clear pass and the EAP identity that will be used for the EPTLS authentication. Let's start the demo session now. First, I will execute the show run MaxSec to view the MaxSec configuration the switch and the MaxSec policy is associated with CypherSuit GCM AES128. Now let's check the interface level configuration. So it is simple. Here is the port connected with access camera and I have enabled globally .1x authentication and interface level as well as .1x authentication with MaxSec and MKA CAC length as 16 to match with the access camera configuration. So let's check the show port access clients now. And the access camera has been onboarded in 213 port with EPTLS authentication and assign the user role and along with the VLAN. So let's check the details about the client now. So it is .1x authenticated and then we see the MaxSec session is secured and then up.
and we can also to see the maxec policy applied here and along with the maxec policy details now let's see the statistics of the maxec here so it clearly shows the maxec packets encrypted and then decrypted as well using this statistics So now let's see the configuration in the access camera. I'll be using the access camera M3215 here. So for that we have to go to the security page of the access camera. So in this security page we need to first upload the ClearPass root certificates for the EPTLS authentication. So I have uploaded both the root and the intermediate certificates. So next comes the max configuration under the network access control and encryption part of the security page so you have to choose the authentication method as 801x eptls with maxec dynamic cac next the client certificate and then the ca certificates which we uploaded has to be selected here and last is the eip identity it is the default identity present in the access camera so this is the simple configuration required for enabling the maxec in the access camera and it clearly shows the dot one x has been authenticated and authorized and then the dot one x ae maxic channel is secured 